Hey, what is up, Coffee Nation? We got a new coffee review, and I am excited about this one. Medaglia del Oro Espresso Italian Roast. Okay, dark Italian roast, 100% Arabica. I think it was Arabica before Arabica was a thing, Coffee Nation. Ha ha ha. But seriously though, this is a um, very special coffee review, like, because it completes my trinity of domestically available espresso roasts. Of course, you got the big one, Cafe Bustello, which is the yellow, Cafe Lalave, Cuban Espresso, which is green, and finally, Magala del Oro, which is Italian coffee, it has these Italian colors, so... Um, what I previously had in the espresso machine was a Cafe du Monde, a uh, very rich, very good coffee to have in an espresso pot, Coffee Nation. This one's a more domestic, so I was excited to find it. Not very specific to this region of mine. I think it's more of an East Coast coffee or country states where they have a stronger Italian influence than my local Arizona. So, really excited. Let's take a look at the foam. So it's got a strong foam right here, nice and thick. You can cut that with a knife. Enough of espresso, Coffee Nation. How's it taste? Hmm. Okay. It's less nutty than the lave. It's got a good richness to it. I feel like it's the lightest of the three. Bustello being the darkest, the lave is in between. Definitely less nutty than the lave. It's got a little kind of a peanut buttery note. But not quite as pronounced. A good foam. And yeah, I mean, this is Household Espresso. Now, as far as the price tag goes, this cost me $8, Coffee Nation, which is a pretty standard price, you know. Uh, Bustello and the Lave would have cost like 3 bucks less. So, is it more of a quality product to consider that? Probably not. When people, you know, they only go Italian, or they only go Mexican, or they only go Cuban. But, I just say, drink what you like, Coffee Nation. Well, not bad. I'm glad I got another one of my kill count, Coffee Nation. Um, you know, it's a household espresso. It's like, I want an espresso, you know. So, this is what I got. But, I do want to check something. Because it does have a very lovely foam. Okay. They say the best foam, so, will support sugar. Okay. And... Uh, this is honestly pretty good foam on here. I don't usually take it sweet, but we got a little sugar here. And as you can see, that line right there was where the sugar was, and it didn't hold it. It just kind of formed around it. Still, not bad. Very light, very sweet. That's a, I guess, a plus here. It's not too heavy. Okay, it's a lighter coffee. Not light as in the roast is light, but light as in, you know, it's not harsh like some other coffees. Um, tasting notes are that of a very, you know, household espresso. Uh, from Miami, Florida. So that's where a lot of these be coming out of. But yeah, I mean, it's a unique can, uh, iconic can. You've probably seen it in a million things. And yeah, to finish off the Trinity, I feel like it's a good addition. Overall, you know, the price could have been a bit better, but five out of five. Five out of 10. Like I said, I'd still have to put Cafe Bustello as the old time go. And that's not bias, that's just because between the cost, the potency, and a fresh Cafe Bustello, 
you know, plus I love the bricks. You know, you can't get that in everything. Um, that's the top. Lalave, I like the green. This would probably be my third favorite, just because it's expensive, Coffee Nation. But not bad. It is not a bad coffee. Okay? So, I say, you get a chance to try it, try it. Tell me for yourself which one's the best out of the three. And always stay coffee.